Hi, it's Evan Roberts of Royals Pianos Houston. We have a Kawhi CX21D in stock. It's uh, about the size of a Yamaha U1 if you want to compare it. Uh, it's about 40 inches roughly in height and um, around there. It's actually from 1992 and it's hardly used. It was bought in California. It was moved around the USA and the owners from the, the, who bought it brand new, they were living in West University and I bought it from them. Their children were older now and uh, they'd grown up and moved on. So the cabinet's in very good condition, almost like new condition. There's obviously some surface scratches from just sitting on the bench and some surface scratches on the piano, but to nothing that I can tell that's majorly damaged or cracked or anything that's, that's obvious there. But uh, it's in very good condition, almost like immaculate condition really. I think it's a good use of the word. So we'll just have a look in the inside. Okay, so internally it's obviously in very good condition. Let's take it this full body. It's quite tight. The action as you can see is the action as you can see is pretty new. The hammers themselves are I've got the original shape. They don't have any wear from the strings. It was barely played by the owners, or owners' children, sorry. Because it wasn't played, you can see some keys getting stuck like this C here. So we're gonna lubricate it and make sure everything's weighted correctly. And that's the key getting stuck. So we'll have to lubricate the keys. Uh, we'll do that. But uh, that's normal when you don't play, that happens. It's got a bright sound. Nice strong bass. It has Celeste rail on it, which is good for practicing quietly when you're doing, someone's watching the TV. Those kind of exercises I should really do more of. And then it has a soft pedal, which is this chap here, which pushes the action uh, rail up, uh, pushes the, the hammer rail up. And so you get a softer, get a softer play there. Dampers are good, obviously. If a damper was bad and I played it, you would hear it ringing, ringing on when it shouldn't ring on, it should dampen. Sounds obvious really, but that's how it works. And the dampers stop around here on the piano, which is interesting because this section has such a short string, they don't need a damper to stop it. Otherwise it would kill the sound too much and you don't need it. So that's in, the string's about this long in the bass and about this long in the treble. So you got them, all the parts as you can see there are in a pristine condition. You've got like the tapes, they're brand new. They're, usually we change them if they're sort of cracking when you take them off. These are just in perfect condition. As you can see the tapes, nothing wrong with them. The back checks, the leathers, all those parts, they're, they're very new condition here in this case. Um, the hammers themselves, and just hardly worn as we mentioned already. All the springs are good. We just noticed that the action needs some more sort of releasing because it's not been played, it's stiffened up a bit. So that's like a car if you don't drive it, sort of similar thing. So let's have a listen to the piano and see what it sounds like. It's got quite a bright sound.
go, it's quite bright in the treble. There is the option to soften it a little bit if you'd like us to do that. Um, it's um, very good condition, 1990s Kawaii upright piano in stock and we appreciate you watching this video and hope to see you in our storeroom here in the Hobby Airport. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.